Okay, are we back? Are we back? Okay. Hang on, wait for people to come rolling back in. I hope they can get back in. I would be extra, extra annoyed. All right, let me find something to do here in the meantime. Come on, folks, come on back in. I'm waiting for you. If you're coming on the replay, I'm Amy, I'm living in Chrysalis, and the first part of this live was me ranting about an idiot DJ's reaction to an amazing new Taylor Swift song that I swear I'm going to buy because it is awesome. It's all about double standards. The double standards that we women deal with, both personally and professionally. And what bullcrap they are. Yes, Melanie, I am back. Well, the weird thing is, is that this is the first time that I haven't been able to just resume. Oh, crap. I put the wrong color on there. Hang on. This is the first time that I haven't been able to just resume the, the stream I was on. This is so annoying. Yo, okay, all right. I've got three people here. Well, hopefully the rest of the gang will catch up. I don't know why it didn't um, just pick up where I left off like it does every other time I have issues. So that's kind of annoying. All right. I'm trying to wait a couple minutes. So, yeah, that Taylor Swift song, I've got to find that. That, that needs to be in my audio library. Absolutely. Thank you, babe. Oh, yeah, I put on, uh, what is this shade? This is Truth or Bear as the base, and I'm going to use Biggest Flirt in my faux crease area. Yeah, I really like this, the color of this shirt, but. <sighs> so let's see. Well, maybe while I wait for everybody else to get back, I'll, I'll complain about something else. Okay. So the numbers on the scale have not really shifted much, but everything is shifting now. Like I, my clothes are way tighter than they should be at the number on my scale which is top secret, but, you know, and I'm not thrilled with it, but all of a sudden, like, everything seems to be going to my gut. Oh, your scale went up, Frida. That sucks. Yeah, it stinks. And it's weird because it's just like, I, I've got... If my stomach is pumping out more. Yeah, I'm telling you, ever since January hit, you know, the perimenopause symptoms have been hitting me like a Mack truck. Oh, my God. I mean, I've had the, um, had the sweats so bad. They, they not only doubled my medication dose, but now put me from once a day to twice. And I'm still getting the occasional hot flash. It's, it's better, but... I'm, I, don't know, I, I still have some breakthrough hot flashing, so I'm not quite sure what to do with that. Because I want this crap to stop completely. So, but man, that's a positive sign, so I'll call and ask them about that. All right, I'm going to go with this deep shade for the outer corner. This is called Late Date. Okay. It's a little post Valentine's here. <laughs> KJ certified. Yeah, this is the first time that um, that I haven't been able to just resume where I left off, and I had to actually start, you know, pick up a new stream. Oh, it was so annoying. Okay, well, anyway, so things are shifting to the middle, which means everything looks awful on me. Like this shirt and jeans used to look okay. Like my tummy was poking out a little bit, but not so bad. Now it looks absolutely dreadful like I just want to I don't know put on it a buy it and be done with it oh gosh and I was having a bad hair day too just to make things even more awesome <sighs> but yeah so so that's been fun 
Mm, let me make sure I get that little spot. And yeah, I feel like my skin isn't as oily lately. And I'm not sure if it's just because it's winter. Although, like, last winter and this winter are the first times I've ever felt my skin, like, feel kind of tight. However, like, when I do no skincare, I'll, I haven't done any skincare in weeks. All I, all I do is, you know, use my face. You know, I, I wash my face with the Dove, you know, the Sensitive Skin Dove. And then I wash it again with... Um, with my face wash but that's it i haven't done any other skincare lately and like it feels good <laughs> you know i like it feels really nice and soft and smooth but it feels much less oily than it had and i'm not sure what to think of that I'm mostly getting like kind of, kind of that puckering around my neck a bit oh um this is my right hand ow I'm right-handed. Oh, hang on, I'm getting a weird like little thing. All right. Well, the good news is I went to physical therapy. Everything's proceeding correctly. Carla, hello, Real Chicks TV. So nice to see you. Get to an age where you can't <laughs> stand it poor. Get to an age where you can't have kids, and then your belly pouches all like you're pregnant, <laughs> like you're perpetually pregnant. Mother Nature is a cruel mistress. Golden Coin says, okay, sometimes it's hard to tell in vids. What meds do they give you for the hot flashes? It's called Clondine. C-L-O-N-D-I-N-E. <laughs> but yeah, so, so I'm freaking out about this. Like, it looks so bad. The number on the scale does not, does not adequately explain what the heck is happening. Yeah, so far as physical therapy is the, the one non-WTF thing today. Um, oh, you get, oh, Frida gets hot flashes, but not hormonal ones. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I, I don't, I mean, I'm not on like hormone therapy, so I don't know anything about that and whether it would be appropriate for you or not. I don't know nothing about nothing. Yeah, I do always seem to do, do a better job on my right eye. It, probably because I'm right-handed. Oh, real chicks. Thank you. She says my makeup's pretty. Thanks. But yeah, it, it is. Oh, I mean, part of it is, too, my right eye is bigger. Like, the actual eye is bigger. Um, I have more lid space. Um, you know, it's just... Like, this is the prettier side of my face. <laughs> Free to do this thing once where she... She went from where my where my the cracking yeah where the tooth divider is and she did like this split thing and it was like one side was like really pretty and one side was a little wonky this was kind of the wonky side once it flipped so that was that was kind of educational <laughs> like okay so this side is yeah it's and in, in, in some photos it looks like I got like Popeye or something like. So, yes, it, the app to see my symmetry, yes. And I'm very not symmetrical, and that was rather disturbing. And the weird thing is, is I always thought that this side was, was better looking, and then I learned that I was mistaken, so that's why I turned this way now. <laughs> oh, yeah, Real Chicks TV. My, my eyes are way more hooded than the other you know, one's way, one's quite a bit more hooded than the other. That's why I do such thick sort of cat's eye eyeliner is to kind of take away the, the extra space there to, to make it look a bit more even. Um, oh, hang on. I should put out some more eyeshadow, shouldn't I? That is kind of what I'm doing here. Okay. So I'm going to go into this kind of pretty pinky top middle thing that looks more orangey on camera than it does in real life. This is called pink sand. Let's go with pink sand here. Oh, she, oh, she, oh she's pretty. She pretty. Okay, let's do that. <sighs> All right. So, yeah, so discovering that today. Oh, yeah, Perky, it's liners a pain. And it's another, that's another thing where my, where having my right dominant hand along, along with my bigger right eye 
I wind up with some weirdness every time I do my eyeliner and have to fix it. All right, let's try to blend a little bit. Pretend I'm a beauty giver anyway. <laughs> Perky says she can fake a nice liner with eyeshadows. Yeah, I do that too sometimes, but generally I prefer actual liner. But I have to be careful with some, some eyeliners because my eyes are hooded. I would actually wind up with, <laughs> with it transferring. So then I'd like rub it in and okay, well, that's kind of eyeshadow. <laughs> It's life. I have issues with it. All right. Where was I? Frida says she'd rather use a wet chisel brush and shadow instead of a liner. I do that sometimes. And actually, Kara C, hi. Um, one, one eyeshadow I really like to do that with is um, a single from Believe Beauty. That's the... Uh, the single is from... Dollar General, and it's called Innocence, and it is one of the deepest purples I've ever seen. It makes a beautiful eyeliner. Oh, yes, everybody, if you haven't checked each other out, please do. I'm going to use my chisel brush and use this shade here, which is called Afterglow. Yeah, I saw your video on your on your minimalist. I think I saw that you put it up. I'm not sure. I thought I watched it. Did I? I've been, I've been having some equipment issues since uh, since my son decided to play a prank on me and not only hide my extra my second device but remove the battery. So I actually just received the battery for that today. It is charging, so it'll be easier for me to monitor the chat in the future and also do some other things that I do. Oh, Kara's debating whether she'll even take any makeup when she goes to Mexico. Yeah, I know. It's like kind of like, eh, you know, if you're just going to be out on a beach or something, why? I mean, if you, you know, if you want to go out to like, you know, the restaurants or the clubs or something, you might want to do that. But if he's grounded, no, he's not grounded, but I have been taking the computer more and also taking the um and also taking his phone to do some of my stuff oh you're just going with your daughter yeah yes aspen does not care about dark circles ah that's so awesome that's such a such a nice mother daughter trip that sounds wonderful yeah, maybe a nice CC or BB cream if you're going out. Yeah, with a with a little sunscreen in it because it is Mexico. <laughs> it is way south of Canada, and you will definitely want the extra sunscreen, lady. All right, I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner. Pretend to be a person here. <laughs> Look, I'm almost done with it. I'm almost done with it. Okay, let's try this. Let's see, can, can I even use it this tiny? I'm going to try. Because these lighters are 20 bucks a pop. <laughs> I, know it's a, I know, I'm so proud of myself. I'm just waiting to see when it gets down to the, to the little part that anchors it in. Because unlike a lot, they don't have product all the way through it. Like there's kind of a, a part so you don't feel like you're wasting product. By having the part in there that you can't get to, I discovered that. Frida's never used an eyeliner even halfway. Oh, yeah, this is not the first one I've gotten down to teeny, teeny. Told you I'm cheap. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so cheap, Audra. I am so cheap. <laughs> I'm using, like, six-year-old foundation to, to film with. Uh, I, I don't like to wear it out because it kind of breaks up. But, uh, oh, but just for doing YouTube at home, especially at night, it's fine. Just for filming. It's all for the video. It's all for the video. Well, you know, I do actually sometimes wear makeup in my real life. <laughs> Expiry dates are a mere suggestion for I Exactly. Exactly. If it doesn't smell bad, it's going on my face. Yup. 
And even if it smells like slightly questionable, I may still go with it. I've got a couple of lip products that are kind of on the edge, but it's okay. Yeah, it does. Some more than others. But yeah, and I'll, on, on, on makeup pack packaging, they always put this, they put this little thing that's supposed to show you how long you can use it. Like this one says that I can use it 24 months after opening. You know what? I'm going to wind up having these for years. Because I give my middle finger to the expiry date. Yeah, if it tastes bad. If it tastes bad or it smells so bad that I, I can't tolerate it because, you know, it does weird things to me. Yeah. Um, oh, golden coin. The uh, it, some of the ingredients degrade, and also there's there are concerns with bacteria growing in it. But for a lot of products, you can just throw some alcohol in it, and it'll be fine. Other products, you have to do things other ways. Like, for instance, I have a palette of eye, eyeshadows that I've had for like 25 years, at least. I always lose yet the heavy liner. I know, but it's it's because of the uneven hooded eyes. Because this lid is just so much bigger. So I know you don't enjoy the, the heavy liner. But I just, I always feel kind of cockeyed. Frida doesn't like my eyeliner technique. <laughs> but that's all right. Okay, different strokes. I know. Okay, let's throw on a little concealer here. Well, of course I'm the main person that notices it, but I think it's one of those things where it just looks, where it's one of those things that, I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I'm self-conscious about it, of course, but also I think, especially in, photos <laughs> people don't stare in the streets no but i mean especially in photos it you know it can really show up and also there's the whole you know where it's like something slightly off not enough for people to stare in the streets but just something slightly off i don't know so it bugs me and i'll play around with I'll play around with some techniques and stuff, but not today. Okay, so more ranting, more weirdness. So I go in, so my, um, the only bra remotely fits me <laughs> is the wire broke and right right in the spot like maybe kind of a third of the way in from the outside where it was just dead absolutely unendurable so i had to go bra shopping today now underwear stabs are awful yes they are and of course because it was broken there it wasn't just one stab it was double stab Frida says she's noticed her smile's getting more crooked as I go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Golden Coin says, I'm going to have to play dumb now about makeup. My wife will see sauce. Yeah, really. Okay. Bra shopping is the worst. Yeah. So I go to Lane Bryant because, you know, they tend to have more of the sort of sizes I need. Um, and... They, they were having something where their regular bras, most of them were on sale for 35 bucks. Yeah, and these are like, a lot of them are $40, $50 bras. Audra at home gave up the bra. Yeah, I wish I could. I, I didn't wear one much when I was younger because, you know, things were kind of smaller and suspended. <laughs> Audra at home, or, or a weird color guy, hi. 
Kara C says she has to shop for bras online because stores don't carry my size unless I want to pay 150 bucks plus at a specialty store. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so I go to Lane Bryant and I'm trying on these bras and I'm trying on band sizes everywhere between 36 and 40 with like all kinds of weirdness. So of course the with the one that I liked a lot. Oh, okay, Golden Coin. Hopefully we'll see you soon. But oh, but the one that I liked the best, I would have needed like a 36F, which they don't have in the store. I'm like, are you kidding? This is supposed to be a plus size store. Oh, bra talk scares you off. Well, the point, yeah, the point is, is that, you know, it's a size they offer that's not it and they don't have it in the store. And they're like, you can order. I'm like, yeah, I'm getting stabbed. I need something right now. So I wasn't having luck with anything else. Then I go to um, their going, going, gone rack, which apparently is not clearance. Oh, oh, you're, you're, your dog keeps trying to keep, kick you, Audra. Okay, I gotcha. And so I'm going through and I'm trying to trying this stuff on and they are not, they were not on sale. I wound up paying more for a bra that is being discontinued because it fit me well than for their new bras that they're doing a, a, an event for. Yeah. So that was exciting. Like, thanks guys. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. I was going to buy two bras today, but now, however, I did find, I I did find um, a couple of tops on clearance. They were like a little over thirteen bucks a piece, which is great. Um, and they're called Swing, and they they've got like a, they've got kind of a, a small, you know, collar that goes up to about here, and then. You know the shoulders fit well. The you know the bust fits well. The um, the sleeves fit well, and then everything just kind of glides down. It covers my gut. It covers my butt. It covers my hips, and it looks good. Like not just like I'm trying to hide, but like an actual style, right? Okay, so I buy those things. I go to Walmart, and I'm like, well, yeah, you know, we're running a little low on money. There are a few things I didn't pick up from my husband's list. And even with the stuff that I didn't pick up, we had less than three dollars left in the account. So he's mad and wants me to return these tops. Fuck! But they're perfect. They're perfect. One's black, and one is a very deep, deep green. They're perfect. I gotta find a way to, to hang on to these because they're perfect. I told him I return them, but I'm gonna. I have an idea. <laughs> so I'm gonna see what I can do. Cause these are so nice and I really wanna keep them, especially now because everything's fitting so weird. So I'm thinking, okay, all my pants fit like hell. I'll be donating plasma for blouses <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But I mean, just everything around my waist fits so bad. It's like, what the hell? And I mean, this only grew like over the last maybe month or two. And okay, I know I've been very immobile, but I was immobile with my previous surgeries for quite some time and this didn't happen. Melanie Clyde, um, I just want to thank you for making these videos. My partner can no longer put on her own makeup. So I want to try and do it for her. So I've been watching every tutorial I can for several months to learn. Oh, that's so awesome, Melanie. Keila, hi. I'm having a day. I'm having a day. Weird color guy. Clothes are designed for average, not real bodies. Right, which, it, well, which is part of going to Lane Bryant. But these tops fit me amazing. That's probably why they're on clearance. Oh, my God. They had three colors and two of them look good on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I gotta figure out something because I want to keep them, but I'll figure something out. Says so a man who wears a sack to work. Yeah, no kidding. 
Oh, I, I didn't, I didn't realize I didn't have enough money to buy everything I did. And my husband's mad. Oh, okay. All right. So the puppy is settled. Yeah. Okay. But I have a plan. I think. I got to check on a couple things, but I think I have a plan. All right. Your cassock is not a sack. Okay, sis. All right. <laughs> anyway. So, all oh, right. I should do powder and mascara and all that crap. Sorry, I got distracted. Oh, I'll be fine. <laughs> Your cassock is unforgiving? Really? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I didn't know if those weren't forgiving. They look like they'd be very forgiving. Maybe you need to find a new cassock brand. <laughs> yeah. So I'm tempted to get a bra extender only because this is a little snug right now. But on the other hand, I keep feeling like it's probably going to stretch over the next few days, a few wears. <laughs> Weird collar guy says, I look like Baron Harkonnen on a bloated day. I'm not sure who that is. <laughs> Keila's corset. Oh my gosh. I've never worn a corset in my life. Oh. Although at some point I'd like to get one for costuming purposes. Frida had no idea they were fitted. Me neither. Me neither. I thought those were pretty loose garments. Your corset shopping. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to have to meet shop. Yeah, my husband was really mad. Oh, the villain from Dune. Okay. Um. All oh, right. Yeah, they're remaking Dune. My husband's thrilled. I'm hoping that it's better than the old Dune movie. I mean, I saw it, but I wasn't like, oh, my God, I love it. And I haven't read the book, so. All right. Let's, let's, let's. Oh, wait. Setting spray. <laughs> Throwing on my sleigh all day. Because why not? I need to sleigh all day to stay home. Or should I use the cheap crap for home? You know what? Um, nah. Screw it. Hang on. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I've been assaulted with jasmine. Oh, it, it smells beautiful, but wow, it's like getting, woo. It's like, I don't even need perfume when I wear this stuff. I'm going to choose a, a more subtle scent next time. But I still like it. It still works. <laughs> okay, right, mascara. See, I've had this for quite some time. And, um, you know, what I do when a mascara dries up, as long as I'm not having any issues with it, is I'll throw in a little bit of contact lens cleaning solution, which helps with the bacteria, you know, which helps with bacteria. It also uh, gives it a little extra life. Because, yeah, a lot of mascara is expensive, and I deeply resent not being able to use it all up. So, yeah, I'm probably going to more stick with minis or maybe I'll try the Essence Slash Princess mascaras when I finally run out of my enormous stash of minis. But first things first. Sometimes I think about getting one of those um, like mascara guards. I've seen them at uh, Ulta. I think Japanese makes one. Not sure if Ulta brand has one or not. Oh, I stopped in um, to check out the the new um, Too Faced nude palette. I swatched on my arm, but I didn't get any photos because I'm an idiot. Well, I really just went into Ulta to pee because it's right next to Lane Bryant. <laughs> Frida loves my setting spray. Frida... Frida, your doctor recommended abdominal compression and you're not wearing Spanx. Oh, okay, yeah. 
girl. Thank you, Golden Coin. You said I made up well. Slay all day and stay home. Yep. Oh, if I saw Dune from the 80s, I read the book. Okay, yeah. It wasn't great. The hair movement adds flair. Thank you. Um, let's see. Melanie says, thanks, J-Girl Beauty. I hope I can pull it off. We have three boys, so I can't practice. She had a pneumonectomy. Oh, a lung removed. Lung cancer. Never smoked. It was a carcinoid tumor. Genetic. Oh, that's terrible. I hope she's doing better. Yeah. Oh, all right, Kerosy. We'll see you later. Okay. So, yeah, that was that was entertaining. I know, a whole lung. That's terrible. Okay, so anyway, this is the look. Just a basic Milani. Yeah, I like it with this shirt. I'll have to do this more often. I kept meaning to do like a whole face of Milani video again. Um, I just I decided that the most loved mats was just I don't know. It, it had too many orangey shades in it for me, so I just decided to chuck it. Well, not chuck it, but to exchange it and get the pure passion instead. Oh, by the way, um, last week when I was in TJ Maxx, they had these Milani palettes. Like they had the pure passion and soft and sultry, and oh, I think there was something else. But now these are five bucks at TJ Maxx, y'all. These are 20 bucks at um, at Ulta. Five dollars, TJ Maxx. So there you go. Oh, Keela made a short video to explain what happened. Okay, we'll have to... Oh, let's see. Keela made her makeup video today. It was beautiful look. And then I realized the camera wasn't filming. So I backed up to try to make the rest and then discovered both parts were missing. Oh, no, Keela. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Yeah. These are five bucks at TJ Maxx right now. Just saying. I paid 20 for this. Well, you know, minus the, the coupon. Oh yeah, TJ Maxx has makeup. So does Burlington Coat Factory. Um, I think Ross Dress for Less does, but we don't have that here. Marshalls, um, Nordstrom Rack. Oh yeah, a lot of these deep discount stores do have the makeup section. Some are better than others. Like there are some TJ Maxx's that are like all busted up and some that are nicer. Mine's kind of in the middle. Oh, the look you have in your explanation video is the makeup look. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, I like Nordstrom Rack. There isn't one anywhere near me though. The closest one to me is in Buffalo, which is about two and a half hours or so away. Yeah, oh, Kilo, we all feel you. It has happened to all of us, honey. We have all lost videos. Well, all of us that do them anyway. Be careful with the makeup from Ross. Yeah, I mean, I haven't been to a Ross in many years. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, you have to be careful with makeup from any, you know, any discount store. That's, you know, that's why you check it out. Like, Melanie went to Sephora and Ulta just to get some makeup to practice with. So excellent. I'm so glad. Yeah. Um, the one thing is, is um, some of the discount stores won't let you return it once you bought it, even if you haven't used it. Yeah. So like what I recommend is you, you crack it open and just take a look. Yeah. So sometimes, you know, this in some of the better stores, the you know, the managers kind of side side eye and just like, look, I just want to check it before I buy it. And, or, you know, you want to inspect the color. And they're usually cool with that. They just don't want people digging their fingers in it. Um, okay, so let's see, what else was weird? Oh, 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 oh. Right. Now that I have more people in here, I want to tell my, tell this story. Okay, so it's such a drive-through today. And like between the speaker and the window, there were several, like, I don't know, three or four kind of round bushes. I actually took a photo of this because it was so weird. So now I'm kind of just you know, looking around and then I see there's a cigarette butt in the top of one of the bushes. Okay, that's gross. But then I, I turned my head a little bit and I noticed toward more toward the bottom of the bush, there was a chicken bone. There was a chicken bone and a cigarette bush 
beer and a cigarette butt in a bush at a drive through restaurant. <laughs> and the girl at the drive through um, you know, I, I actually took a photo of it because it was just so weird. And go to the drive through, you know, like she'd been waiting for me for a few seconds. And I think she saw me taking a picture. She, you know, she's kind of just giving me this weird look. I'm like, do you know <laughs> that this is what you have in these? And she's like, I'll tell the manager. I'm like, yeah. It's so gross. Uh, yeah, Kila can deal with broken colors, but can't deal with gunk in the pants. See, most of the time I won't buy something with broken colors. <laughs> snack and a smoke it was so gross I'm like it's like it's at the drive through god you freaking pig oh my god so yeah that was it that was uh that was another WTF for today <laughs> no it wasn't a pancake it was it was a it was a chicken bone like uh like from a chicken wing or something or you know from a from like a small drumstick maybe or a chicken wing you know, like someone was eating wings in the car while they're getting drive through at freaking Arby's. <laughs> and then they just chuck their bone out the window. What the hell? And the only thing I can think of is, okay, maybe that was a weird thing that the kid or that a kid did, but then you've got the cigarette butt, which just kind of leads me to think that it was just so much gross. I don't even know. Or like what the the adult tosses the butt out the window and then the kid tosses the bone. I mean, it, you know, I, I just wind up speculating on how, what series of events happened. Was this the same vehicle? Were both of these objects thrown out by the same person, or like, you know, it's just like a what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Pancake and a smoke. Oh, I think I missed that one. It's been a while since I've seen Austin Powers. <laughs> well, if it was in the compost, it should be in the you know, at the bottom, not like in the bush. Oh, uh, no, it's just, it's so bad. Okay, everybody, I really have to pee. So I'm going to put on mute so you don't hear me groan. Um, <laughs> but I will be right back. Uh, entertain yourselves. I'll be right back. Unmute. Okay. What do you mean not muted? <sighs> okay. Don't ask about the smoke. The bone refused to die. Why do I groan when I pee? Is it about getting up and down with post-surgery foot? Yeah, and my knees have been killing me. Especially my right knee because with all this stuff going on with my foot, um... Like my, um, my, my, uh, tibia is getting torqued, so it's not setting right. <laughs> oh no, I hit mute. Was it not mute? Please tell me that was on mute. Are you guys messing with me? 
evil creatures. It was me. Thank you, Sam and Porn. I appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate somebody helping me out here. Okay, well, I think I'm going to take this off the lipstick because I've decided to keep it because she party. So I don't need the barcode on it anymore. Yeah, I think this is kind of a nice chill look, which is great for this shirt. I want to keep those ones. I'm going to find a way to do it. Find a way. Yeah, I'm going to be... <laughs> Well, it's just, I mean, they glide so beautifully over all of this mess here in the middle that is new and upsetting. Um, yes, I need to work on losing weight, blah, blah, blah. But in the meantime, I want to look good. Sure, it's a mist. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the shirts for terms of his stuff. No, I have, no, I, I, I have, I have an idea. I have an idea. It's okay. I, th I think I can pull this off. Shh, don't tell him. It's a me. Although actually, I bought myself a pair of shoes because I thought I was going back to work, and my right foot is still swollen a bit, so. Um, it doesn't fit into a lot of my shoes, but it has gone down some. And also the other reason why I bought these is because um, my scar was, the, the nerves were extremely sensitive and it was just rubbing it, but now they're less sensitive. So I think I've got a $40 pair of shoes I can return to TJ Maxx. So maybe I can work that out. Like, all right. So, yeah, because the shoes I was... I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're good and all. And yeah, it would be nice to put the, put the, um, words, put the in, insoles in them. I'm going to, I'm going to test some things tonight. And I'm also going to try on a few more of my clothes tonight. See if I can find a way to make this work. Yeah, it sucks, Melanie. Thank you, honey. Treat yourself. <laughs> I'll figure something out something out it's okay i will sort it out thanks j girl appreciate it but yeah buy some more of the five dollar pallets i know i just have to wait until we've got a little more money i mean that, yeah they'll be rolling in for a while i think so that's good jessica vargas hey boo how you doing so yeah um I was, I will probably pick up soft and sultry there. And I'm kind of halfway tempted to pick up another pure passion and then return that to, uh, <laughs> to Alta and get some store credit. <laughs> yes, I'm bad. I know. But, I'm, but I don't have any money for Alta shopping and it sucks. <sighs> okay. So. Sorry, I, I hate having to do this with my finger, but hopefully by the next time I do a live, I'll have another device, you know, my other device so I can follow the chat on that and not, you know, fling, fling my finger on here. Where is my hand, where is my pear hand lotion? Oh, it's way over there. Yeah. It's on the other side of my setup. I gotta clean this crap. It's a disaster. But, oh, I think I, I, I think I mentioned yesterday, I, I have been taking off work for another two weeks. So, okay, that's another two weeks without working, which sucks. But I think part of the reason why I've been really kind of pissy for over the last week is I knew that I wasn't ready to go back to work yet. Not quite physically up to it, but these last two, you know, but I've got two more weeks left of disability leave and like I said it's not much but at least it's something so uh... <laughs> Kayla says it's okay I like it when you scroll I can put my nose up to the screen so you can scratch it for me <laughs> weirdo that's why I love you I'm not the only nutball here so yeah, I'm I'm actually uh yeah, so I I'm actually feeling so much better 
since I got taken off work another two weeks. I, I know it's not screwed up. Like I should be like, oh God, I gotta get back to work. But I know I'm not ready yet. I mean, I just, you know, standing there to do a big load of dishes. Gila <laughs> says, I think you got a booger. You might want a tissue. I'll just wipe it on my pants. Aw, thanks, Jessica. She says, everybody hit the thumbs up. Yes, please. And if you're catching me on the replay, still thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, share, all of that good stuff. Because your girl needs you to feed the algorithm beast. Yeah. Feed the beast. Oh, hey, um, I've got over 1,700 watch hours now. So I'm re... <laughs> Golden Coin says, take all the time the heart needs. Yeah, no, I can't do that. I can't afford to do that. It's not about my heart. It's about my body. My, my goth makeover. But, like, well, okay. I mean, I'm, you know, I used to do goth makeup all the time for my, you know, on myself in the 90s. Okay. <laughs> Stammon says, I know when it feel, how it feels when you aren't ready to go back after surgery. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Not today. I will do it another day. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Well, we shall see. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow or Sunday. I'm not exactly sure what the weekend is going to hold, but, you know, given my... <laughs> Given the fact that right now I have less than $3 in the bank account, I have a suspicion how it's going to go. And I think I'm going to be doing a lot of filming and editing and housework as much as I can. Standing. Oh, okay, Jake girl. I'll see you later. So did you win? Yes. Oh, another thing. Another thing I've been planning. I just have to get my husband to do it with me. He's been informed that he's being drafted i just gotta like get him at the right time but something we are going to be starting soon not with any regularity but um we're going to do live stream cards against humanity <laughs> that's that's what this new set is for so that i actually have enough space so i can push everything back and have room for him and still have a backdrop so i'm very excited about that yeah, so the idea is that, you know, with, because with Cards Against Humanity, when you, you know, when you, when you do the card set and you come up with your thing, you know, your, your, your sets, then the other players vote on who has the best one. So what we're going to do is he and I are going to each do a set and then we're going to have you guys vote on who has the best one. So that's going to be a thing. It is coming up. I'm not exactly sure when, but it is going to happen. Is it online or in a Cards Against Humanity that would allow your viewers to actually participate? Well, yeah, but can I do that during the live stream? Yes. Interesting. We will talk about this more. Okay. Maybe we'll find a way that you guys can participate too. We'll see. Yeah, my buddies and I used to play every morning back in like middle school. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll talk about this more. I'll have you help me with that. So, okay, we may have we may have it be more participatory. Who knows? But I have I have the box set of the game. But I have we have a bunch of you know board games and stuff. But we, people don't come. We don't have people over. Like you, you know, Jay's a Jay's a mess, and I'm. Now. Jake is the most charismatic person in the world, are you? <laughs> My son, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. He loves me so. <laughs> Keela lives under a rock. Okay, well... We will find some way to play it. Whether it's just Jay and I playing and then you guys voting... Or if, if we can find a way to make it more participatory, then that'd be awesome, too. I'll play with that. It won't be any fun. Well, I need somebody to, 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 to be my foil here. So if it's not going to be him, then it's going to have to be you. Fuck no. Invite Mrs. Chan. 
Don't you have like friends or something? Colleagues, maybe. <laughs> yeah, honey, but everybody's like busy and married and you know, it's it's different when you're grown. It's a lot harder. We'll figure something out. <laughs> oh, Aiden, keep the sound off on that, please. Uh-huh. He's taking over my Xbox. Wait, it's 2020. What's a board game? It's what you do when you can't afford to go out. Because <laughs> everybody's broke. You could drink at home. Okay, but without something else to do, that's boring as hell. And booze is expensive. You buy a game once. <laughs> Frida says it's so different when you're older. Oh my god, yes. Especially when you live in a place that you, you know you didn't grow up in. Don't underestimate the power of distilling. I just watched a video like an hour ago about how to make moonshine out of toilet paper. I have absolutely no wish to make moonshine out of toilet paper or any other way. I don't want to die of blood poisoning. <laughs> I'm making my own moonshine. Besides, by the time you buy the equipment, nah. Well, that's just the fun part. It doesn't take much equipment at all. Okay. <laughs> all right. You think my son should do a pink look? Is that what you mean, Keela? He he has, as far as I know, he actually has no wish to appear on camera. Not particularly, although I'm sure it would look fabulous. You would. We should. Do, we should. You should let me make you up. They'd love it. Of course, not that he needs it. He has. He has beautiful pink cheeks anyway. Twerp. <laughs> He's a. Well, I just walk around outside in the cold a lot, so being flushed is my baseline. Okay. Yes. But you, you know, he does have good cheekbones. He has good cheekbones and very dramatic eyes. Please don't haunt my son. He's sitting right there. <laughs> don't haunt my son. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> he does have good cheekbones. He's a good looking kid. Some, yeah, sometimes I wonder how many girls have like secret crushes on him. <laughs> well, he rarely stands. I hope it's not that many. That would be fucking awful. Why? Because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Of course, it could. You know, it could be like like your dad had in high school, and there was some girl who basically had a shrine to him. What is this? Oh, um, Jay, honey. Would you give me a soda, please? A what? A soda. Uh, I forgot to bring one, and I'm dying of thirst. There you go. Thank you, my love. Are you still on your? Yes, I am. Okay. We're discussing future plans for um, for the uh, Cards Against Humanity game that you're gonna do with me. Caffeine and sarcasm. Hi. Yeah. So it's been just a really weird day. Caffeine and sarcasm. It's just been all kinds of weirdness. Oh, unfortunately, you missed the bulk of it. I'm trying to think if there was anything else weird. You'll take a water. The tap water here tastes like ass. It's, it, it's not good. I mean, it's safe, but it tastes very chlorine and I, I can't deal. Um, when I was a teenager, we'd moved out to the country, so we had nice, beautiful, fresh well water. So I, I really cannot tolerate tap water almost anywhere. It's, but especially where I live. <laughs> Gross. That's why they put it in bottles now. Yeah, I know, right? But I, I don't really like those either. Um, really, <laughs> the only bottled water I actually like actively like is Fiji water. Caffeine sarcasm, multiple filters, the water's gross. All right. I mean, the only way I'll drink the tap water is if I like mix it with like some, um, you know, like some crystal light or something. So it, so the flavor covers the, the, uh, the ick. On the other hand, 62 cents plus a five cent deposit. 
so, you know. Attack the thunder! And yes, I, I drink out of two liters at home instead of glasses. Artesian's the best. Okay. Oh, caffeine and sarcasm's got beer. I don't have money for beer. Weird color guy says, our water company is frightening when it comes to quality. Artesian, yeah. I, I really like Fiji water the best. Like, I've experienced... You know, there, there are some other ones that are okay. But as far as active... Well, why dirty a glass? And also, I'm clumsy as hell. So, if I do knock this over, even if the lid's off... I, it less spills, but also, you know, I open, I drink, I close. No muss, no fuss. And it stays, uh, and it stays, um, whatchamacallit, bubbly. <laughs> Weird guy drinks distilled water. Weird. I only use distilled water for, like, my iron. Um, Frida has Artesian Springs by your cabin. Oh, nice. Clumsy's why beat tonight? Oh, beer. Okay. Nine, oh, Golden Coin says 99% of bottled water is too low pH. Well, I, did, I just don't drink it. Yeah. Kila Lee says don't drink purified water. It's recycled. Let your imagination run. Oh, I know. I know. But, you know, it's, it's purified, you know? <sighs> I'd rather take a shower with it. <laughs> really, but. Now, do I know what, what water they use to make this stuff? I do not. And you know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't know. There's flavor. There's bubbles. I'm good. But yeah, every once in a while, you know, because... My, you know, my husband will be like, well, why, you know, why, why don't you just drink water? I'm like, no. <laughs> you know, and then he, call, you know, he calls me a child and stuff. And look, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Just like me eating cauliflower is not going to happen. Me eating llama beans, not going to happen. I will pick them out of my food. It's not happening. I'm like, don't, I don't have to eat them if I don't want to. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Um, Frida says for first osmosis is good, but the systems are very expensive. Yeah, I've heard that. Um, Standard Porn says they use distilled water in CPAP and in a diffuser. Yeah, my friend uses distilled water in her CPAP. Ignorance is bliss. Yes. Oh, caffeine and sarcasm's husband makes fun of her filters. <laughs> so there, and my lack of veggies. Yeah. Yeah, correct. Okay. Vain sarcasm, lack of veggies. You know, my husband's like, you're going to eat your vegetables like a good girl. You know, I'm like, you gave me basically an entire can of green beans. I'm not eating all of that. No, no. Canopies, sure. Can of green beans, help. Not the whole thing. Only some of it, but God. No. Oh, so everybody, I, I'm a grown up. I can eat what I want. Yes, yes I can. <laughs> Is it good for me? <laughs> no. And apparently now I'm going to have to get really strict about it because, yo, what is happening below the bra is not great. So what's happening in the bra is not great, but at least this one hoiks them right back up to where they should be. Chocolate for breakfast. Oh, I know. You know what I really miss? I really miss a good chocolate croissant. I've never seen a gluten-free croissant. And I would very much like to. Because I very much miss a good chocolate one. I know. See, it's such bullshit. Come on. Why can't they... You know, I'm not, oh, let's see. What else do I miss? Like, if somebody could develop... Oh, ice cream is easy. I can I can eat lots of ice cream. I just have to you know, read the back. But ice cream is not, believe me, ice cream. <laughs> well, I can't say that ice cream is causing this. It caused some of it, but not what's been happening lately. That's got to be hormones because it's just too weird. 
You were glutening yourself? Well, I hope you're okay with it. I hope it doesn't bother you because, uh, let's see, me, Frida, and J-Girl Beauty. No, nope. You know how many years it's been since I've had a donut? It is really hard to get one's hands on a gluten-free donut. And boy, I miss donuts. Oh, you don't care tonight. Oh, I, I care always. Sam Moore says, seriously, it's hormones. They don't call it the middle age spread for nothing. Yeah, but how, how did it happen all at once? The last time I had weight gain all at once, I gained like 40 pounds when I had, um, 40 pounds in six weeks when I had the Depo Provera shot. It took forever to lose that. Uh, that was, that was bad. That was a bad scene. Um, but yeah, just all of a sudden. Oh, 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 another weird thing I was going to tell you guys. Another weird thing. All right. So I was in um, Lane Bryant, and so, of course, I'm going through the clearance racks looking at pants. I suppose it's a mercy. None of them fit me, but here's the weird thing. I've always worn, like, their curvy fit, but I'm, I'm trying, and I tend to prefer trouser cut pants because they're wide leg ones. You know, I'm, I'm wide. And then if the legs are, are wide, and I have little feet, it's like I have, you know, big hips, big booty, big legs, and little tiny feet. <laughs> so then I look like I don't have any feet. So I'm not wearing their, you know, like their wide leg pants. So I tend to go with trouser cuts. Those tend to be the most flattering on me if they're cut for, for curves. Here's the weird, the, but the weird thing is, is when I was trying these on, and I don't know if it's because my my weight pattern has shifted, but it almost f seems like my, like my um, saddlebags aren't sticking out so much anymore. Like the rest of my hip has filled out more. So it almost makes it seem like my saddlebags have disappeared. <laughs> and, and so then I'm trying on these curvy pants and... And the weird thing is, is around where, where the saddlebags would be, there was like extra fabric in, in a weird way. Uh, what? You know, normally those you know, curvy cut trousers are my jam. I don't understand how these suddenly didn't fit me right. It is the strangest thing. Um... <laughs> uh, let's see golden coin says donuts are gross something about the texture weird collar guy I once gained 15 pounds in a week oh that's awful caffeine and sarcasm shattered my elbow so F it but usually I'm on AIP diet I don't know what that is I mean my gluten free is for issues not I wouldn't really consider it a choice. I, like I choose not to feel sick to my stomach and belch all the time. That's what I choose. Kila says some um, gut, butt, hips, and thighs. Yeah, and you know I used to be like almost like a comic book, or you know, or you know, but like bigger. You know, where I've got the, you know I've got the boobs. I had a small waist, not much of the tummy, and then like. Big ass, big hips, big legs. And now, you know, and now I'm like, I don't know what has happened. It's so weird. It is so weird. It is so upsetting. Migrating curvy particles. Yeah, I'm not through. Oh, AIP is autoimmune protocol. Good to know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? This whole day to me has just been what the fuck. You know, what the fuck? How, how how did I run out of money? What the fuck? What is going on with my middle here? What the fuck? <laughs> it's going on with that freaking DJ. But, you know, busting on Taylor Swift. You know, and fitting right exactly into one of the points that she was making in her song. Caffeine sarcasm. Hates how their weight has shifted. Yup. Gathering place. Hello. 
Hello, hello. Yeah, today is what the fuck Friday. It's just been just one weird ass thing after another. <sighs> like, ugh, it, it's it's been a day. It's been a whole day of just weird. If I go into it all again, it'll have it'll be all repetitive. So I really hope you catch the replay because there's all kinds of weird. It's just been so weird. So weird. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think any other weird things from today. This chair's creaking. But I'm but yeah, I think I'm liking how my new set goes. I'm not I'm not getting quite the shadows that I did with um with the curtain. So I'm really happy about that. I'll, I'll, I'll have to see what I can do about my regular videos as far as that. Maybe I'll do some lights in the lights behind the, the screen or something. Oh, I gotta stop. There. Okay, there we go. I was wondering what that noise was. It was me. It was me. I want Cersei to know it was me. I recently restreamed all of, um, you know, re-binged all of Game of Thrones while I was feeling pissy. And then once I ran out of Game of Thrones, I moved on to, uh, I moved on to, uh, words. Damn it. I told him to turn the sound off. I really hope I don't get copyrighted. But I, uh, really? <sighs> what the hell, man? <laughs> what the? I can't even think. Oh. Oh, yeah, I know, um. Gathering place. I don't care for the swearing. I grew up being cussed at. Are you upset? Yeah, sorry. I don't. I don't normally cuss much on my channel. It was. It's just such a weird day. It's such. It was just such a weird day. So yeah, sorry. I really don't cuss much on my channel. So, I'll I'll try to keep it down. Oh, Kathy, there's been so much. <laughs> there's been so much, lady. I can't even, and for some reason, I'm getting a touch of the aphasia. Oh, there's a whole thing. So I think I'm going to have to wrap it up because I'm running out of things to say, and my son left the video game sound on, and I'm super annoyed. Yeah, no, I mean, I just, I just choose not to cuss much on my channel. It was just a weird day. So, yeah, I get it. Thank you, Kathy. It's a... Milani. I went with Milani. Let's see. So, Milani. 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 And Milani. I don't have the foundation yet, but um, I do want to test it once I get some more money. Am I going out? No. I that's an, I just, I, I went out all day with no makeup on, doing my errands and such, and then I came home and put on makeup to, you know, put on makeup while doing my live stream because it gave me something to do with my hands <laughs> and it makes me look better in the end. And maybe I'll do another thumbnail. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up now. So thank you all so much for coming in, watching, supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, if you're catching me on the replay, thank you so much for that too. And I really hope to see you later. Well, caffeine and sarcasm, I don't know if you caught it, but um, these palettes are on, are now at TJ Maxx for five bucks. So that's like a quarter of their regular price. So have a great night, everybody. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I will see you very soon. Thanks, Keela. And um, yeah, I'll probably be on in a day or two. So I will see you very soon. Bye, y'all.